Hi, I'm Jack Shilly and welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can introduce another variety of fruit bush to your patio or small garden by growing it in a container. Container grown fruit bushes are really, really successful as you might have seen from my other videos. You can plant raspberries, black currants, all sorts in containers, even if you've got the smallest space and they produce masses of fruit that are great because growing your own does always taste better. I'm going to be focusing on blueberries today and more specifically I have two varieties that I selected. I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I've chosen those varieties. So onto the varieties of blueberry that I've chosen. As I mentioned I picked two. They are slightly more unusual varieties, one that I haven't even seen before myself so I'm looking forward to seeing how they grow. That one is called Isabel. Now it's this blueberry here. As you can see it's very small and very compact and that's why I chose it. As I said, I hadn't seen this variety before, but according to the description, it's naturally compact, naturally dwarf, but still bears an abundance of really nice tasting fruit. So I'm really looking forward to growing this in, in a container. Its dwarf size makes it ideal for doing that, so I've got the right size pot for it, which I'll show you in just a moment. And it's, the advantage of this one here is that it's also self-fertile, which means you don't have to have multiple blueberries in order for it to fruit. It will pollinate itself quite happily, and irrelevant of whether you've got other blueberries around you or not, you're always going to get some kind of fruiting on this plant, which is fantastic. Especially if you have a small space where you can only fit one plant in. So it's a good all-round variety. Now the other one that I've selected is called Pink Lemonade. It's this blueberry here. As you can see, it's much bigger. It's a full-size blueberry, so it can go in the ground as well as a container. And the container is much larger for this one, as you'll see. Um, so I selected that accordingly. And the uh, interesting thing about this one is the fruit actually ripens to a pink colour as opposed to a blue. Um, apparently it has a really nice flavour, it's really reliable for cropping, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this one grows. So pot size when it comes to planting your blueberry plants depends on the variety you've got. For example, the pink lemonade, as I mentioned, needs a much larger pot, so that's this size, because it's going to be a much larger plant ultimately. If you've got a more compact variety, such as Isabel, um, here, you would go for one that's a little bit smaller. Generally speaking, you want to go for a pot that's at least 10 centimetres bigger than the pot they're currently in. So that could be five on each side, anything like that. Just so that it's an ample size bigger for the plant to get established. So as I said, I've chosen this smaller size for Isabel, the dwarf compact variety, and this size for the pink lemonade, which is a full size blueberry. What I've also done is I've drilled holes in the bottom of the containers like so and on that one as well. And what I'm also going to do to help with drainage and waterlogging issues that can occur in containers is to fill the bottom about an inch with these old plastic pots. Now I've squashed them so they're a little bit more like this. I'm just going to simply place them in the bottom of the containers so that water doesn't collect directly in the soil and it can drain freely through the bottom there. I've got the pots in the bottom there, so that's now ready for filling with compost. Blueberries require a specific soil type, and that is ericaceous soil. So they like the soil to be acidic. If your soil is naturally acidic, you can plant them straight into the ground. If not, and your garden is neutral or alkaline, really what you want to do is plant them in containers anyway, because then you can control the soil that they're being grown in. So I've got some um, bags of ericaceous compost that's really easy to find. You can pick it up at your local garden centres, and you just want to fill the pot with ample amounts of compost and then pop the blueberry directly into that. So I'm going to do that now. When you've got a fresh bag of compost, it's always advisable just to run your hands through it and break up any large clumps. You don't really want any large clumps left in there as it will mean the plant won't be able to establish itself as well. Now once you've got an ample amount of soil in there and you're nearly at the top of the container, you need to dig your planting hole. So this needs to be at least the size of the pot that it's already in. Um, so I'm just going to push the soil here to the sides. Um, and if you do need to take some soil away, um, feel free to do that. Um, it's not going to harm anything, you can always backfill around it. And then take your plant very carefully, remove any of the debris that might be around it. 
up, hold the pot, tip it upside down and bring it out of the container like that. When you're planting into pots I wouldn't say that teasing the roots is advised, um, they've got plenty of soil to go into it, it's nice and it's clean so I wouldn't suggest that's necessary. Pop it in so that the plant sits at the same level as it did in the container that it was just taken from. Fill the compost back around. And that's it, that's literally all there is to planting your blueberry. So I've watered these before I planted them, that's always advised as well. And then give them a really good soak once they've been planted and that will just help them get themselves established and get those roots starting to go down into the rest of the soil. You don't need to feed them at this stage because you planted them into fresh compost so that's got plenty of nutrients for them to get going. Just bear in mind that with first year planting blueberries, you might not necessarily get any flowers or fruit in the first year. Don't panic, that's natural. Once they're established and they've had a season or two to get settled, you'll start to see those flowers coming and you'll start to get a really good crop of blueberries. So I'm just gonna water this one in, pop it somewhere in a sunny position. That's literally all there is to planting blueberries in containers. Keep on top of the watering throughout the summer with your blueberry plants, especially while they're getting established. And if they're in containers, they're gonna dry out much quicker. So just be mindful of that. As I said, you won't need to feed them because you planted them in fresh compost that's going to have feed in it anyway. And just keep an eye on them as they're getting established. Prune away any branches that might die or look a bit scraggly. As I said, they'll start producing fruit um, fairly soon after that. If it's, you might get a few this first season, but majority are gonna come second and third season. That's it for planting blueberries in containers. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Um, please let me know what your thoughts were or any questions or comments in the box below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos and also my social media links are in the description so make sure to check those out as well. Thanks very much for watching as ever and I will see you in the next video.